Ladies and gentlemen, here comes another yummy series. Hi guys! Thank you for stopping to watch today's video. In today's recipe, I will be showing you a no-fry egusi soup with fish only. This recipe is super healthy and it tasted so good guys. Please don't forget to like this video. Share to your friends and families and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you and let's start cooking. To make this recipe, I will be using fresh fish. I have gone ahead to give it a nice wash. Stock fish, I soaked it overnight to help the cooking process. Dry catfish. I'm going to use hot water to wash it nicely and debone it. Next, I will transfer them to my cooking pot and season with roughly blended onion, seasoning cubes, salt, and one scotch bonnet pepper. I'll go ahead and add water, cover, and allow it to cook. At this time, the fish is fully cooked. I will take out the fresh fish and grill it. Next, I will scoop out the dry fish. Remember, I soaked the stock fish overnight. So at this point, it's soft enough because I don't want it to scatter in my soup. By so doing, I will control the quantity of water I am using in this soup. Next, I will add more water, cover and allow it to come to a boil. Okay guys, let's have fun by pounding the oziza and crayfish with this mortar. <laughs> Next, I will transfer the crayfish and oziza which I pounded in my pot of soup. Here is the main ingredients for this recipe. Grounded egusi. I will go ahead and transfer it to my cooking pot and allow it to cook. Remember, egusi takes time to cook. So as I'm adding it right now, I'm going to stir and keep stirring now and then so that it doesn't burn. That way it will cook properly and the cake. After five minutes, this is how it looks. I will give it a gentle mix just to make sure it's not burning. Remember, a goosey need at least 20 minutes to cook properly, otherwise it will cause upset stomach. So I'm going to mix, cover and allow it to cook more. While the egusi is cooking, I will prepare my vegetable. I am using fresh spinach. I will go ahead and cut and blanch the spinach. Okay, my lovely people, the egusi has been cooking for 15 minutes. I'm going to introduce my palm oil and scotch bonnet pepper. Mix to combine, cover, and allow it to cook more. Here is my great fish. I will go ahead and debone some of them. At this stage, the egusi is fully cooked. Next, I will transfer all the proteins in my pot of soup. Adding all the proteins, stay to combine and allow it to simmer for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, I will go in with my blunt spinach. And to finish it up, I will go in with my chopped sweet pepper and crayfish. Mix to combine and our egusi soup is 
Ready? This Segusi soup is super healthy and it tasted so good. If you don't like fried egusi, give this one a try and I'm sure you are going to love it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your love and support. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please take a moment to subscribe. Share our videos to your friends and families. Thank you and always be positive and see you in our next video. This soup was super good. You can pair it with any swallow of your choice. Look at me and my hobby. We are digging in already. Bye, guys.